Now, Los Angeles is known for its stars, of course, but years ago, it was famous for the stars in the sky, not on the screen. But that's no longer the case, thanks to light pollution. KCAL News reporter Joy Benedict explains there's a push to have the sky over the city of Angels go dark again. As the lights flash on Hollywood Boulevard, they shine bright for the world to see. But a hundred years ago, these weren't the stars this city was known for. The entire first half of the 20th century, you came here to do cutting edge astronomy. 30 miles north of Hollywood on the top of Mount Wilson in the Angeles National Forest, the stars have a different purpose. It's actually 101 inches, it's 9,000 pounds of glass, and it's 13 inches thick. As this 100-inch telescope installed back in 1917 once brought scientists from all over the world, Tom Minigini is the volunteer in charge of keeping it running. That's one of our missions is to get people up here because a lot of people don't know this is here. The roof opens, the dome rotates, and the cosmos get just a little closer at the Mount Wilson Observatory. Ring nebulas and globular clusters 12 million years old move into view. Nobody knew that the universe existed the way we think of it now. And that discovery was made by Edwin Hubble using the telescope over my head. Edwin Hubble, Albert Einstein, and many more came here to stare at the stars, including retired astrophysicist Tim Thompson, who also is a volunteer here. Here we discovered the galaxy, we discovered the universe, and that marks the birth of what you would call observational cosmology. All that was done here during the first three decades of the 20th century. But there is no research done here anymore. For as the city below expanded, the telescopes were built elsewhere. It's just solid lights in every direction south. And gone is the dark sky that once put this area on the map. People have lost touch with the sky as a natural resource. It's called light pollution, and in Los Angeles, it is blinding. There's a lot of light pollution down there um, in the suburbs, in the city, downtown especially. You can't really see a lot. Maybe we see the moon and maybe we see a couple of stars, but that's about it. It's but there is a new push to change that. And I think this is the, the most concerted effort we've had. As L.A. County just launched a new campaign in unincorporated areas to dim the lights. There's so much light pollution that the only thing people can really look at with any reliability is the moon. Spencer <laughs> Suhu is on the board of the Los Angeles Astronomical Society. Well, we've been working with them for the better part of a year now. And they develop a brochure that they're doing a pilot in the northern Los Angeles County near Lake of Stake. And they've already mailed out 10,500 brochures to residents in those areas. The county has had a dark skies ordinance on the book since 2012. But Suhu says without education or enforcement, it's not making a difference. And a difference is needed. Light pollution interferes with the wildlife. Uh, birds uh, get confused. Sea turtles get confused by the lights. And study shows too much light can affect humans too, not to mention our wallets. Well, how much energy is wasted by just light going blasting out into space? There's, there's no need for that. Suhu says outdoor lighting fixtures should be shielded pointing down, not up. And if you use LED lights, pick a warmer color. Use motion sensors or timers to make sure you aren't over illuminating. Trying to control light pollution in the city of LA is a pretty daunting task. But you have to start someplace. And so one place where you can start is with new building permits. He hopes to get more municipalities on board for night sky friendly lighting. Something these stargazers would like as well. We gotta find a solution to make it better. You have to ex experience a natural resource like a dark sky, just to be able to walk up and look up and see the Milky Way. Because beyond the bright lights and big cities we all love, lies a view we should know, as it is truly out of this world. Joy Benedict, KCAL News.